Hi, I'm Nina. I work at the Innovation Accelerator and I'm going to tell you today how we grow food in the desert. So in the Algerian Sahara Desert, the Sahrawi refugees have been living there for about 40 years in camps. For them, animals play a very important role in their culture, but also for their diet. But as they themselves are completely dependent on external food aid, they very rarely have the means actually to feed their animals. So very often they actually end up eating garbage, leading to very poor nutritional value of the meat and milk they produce. So one of the Sarabi refugees with an agrarian and um, engineering background actually had the idea, why don't we use hydroponics to grow animal feather here in the desert? Hydroponics is a growing technique where you don't need fertile soil. So actually we thought, why not? Let's try it out. We brought in a high-tech solar-powered hydroponics container uh, that can grow barley fodder in only seven days from seed to harvest. Uh, we need the solar power actually to, um, to manage the water circulation pump that ensures that all the layers get sufficient water supply. Um, we had actually local fam families running this unit to get to know the technique and then to actually create a local replica to make this sustainable because we thought only if we could actually use local expertise and locally available material, we could ensure that the families would build one of these things actually themselves to feed their animals. So we could bring down the cost to only 10%. Um, and then we thought, all right, we have this local replica now. What is the impact? We looked at the animals that participated in the first trial and we could see an increase in the milk production of the goats that were now fed with the animal fodder by 250%. Also, we could see a decrease um, in the mortality rate, and we're now looking into the increase or the impact actually on the meat and milk quality. Um, so what are the next steps? We currently have 20 of these local units implemented in the camp already, ensuring that more than 500 people are benefiting from this. Um, but the next step is now actually to look at what other regions or countries could this model actually be attractive because we have many countries with water scarcity problems and where livestock plays an important role for the livelihoods.